everybody, it's Kathy here and earlier on today I did a video on how to make these wonderful Christmas candles. Um, I did a live video and everybody really enjoyed it, however I forgot to save it and deleted the thing. Um, so here we are again, it's uh, Saturday evening and I'm doing a new video for you so anybody that missed it can get a see of how I make these candles. There's quite a lot of you asked how we do them, so there we go. Right, what do you need? A blank candle, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a piece of A4 card and a piece of tissue paper and obviously any decorations that you want. So we're going to start by placing the paper on top of the tissue paper. Okay, and just put a line of glue all the way around like so. And put it on nice and neatly and as tight as you can get it. Okay. Now somebody asked on the live video what kind of printer do we need and any inkjet printer will do. Laser printers, I'm not too sure. I haven't got a laser printer so I've never tried. Okay. Obviously, to go to printer, you don't want this flapping up and down because that will just rip your tissue paper and it will get jammed. What I'll do is take the scissors, cut the corners. Okay, take some silver tape. And pop it along the edges. Like so. And smooth off the corners so that there's nothing that the printer can grab and start to churn up basically. Do both sides. And don't worry if it's not neat, nobody's going to see it. <laughs> Just as long as it's nice and tight and smooth, that's the main thing. The tissue paper on the other side needs to be quite smooth so that it doesn't have any kinks in it. Okay, so there we have the A4 card covered in tissue paper and sealed at the back. Okay, so next we need to go on to design space. Bear with me, I'm new to making videos. This is my first one. I do hope you'll all subscribe to my YouTube channel because um, what I'll do is I'll make lots more videos for you of all the different things that I make. Okay, so we're going to cancel that last card. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure that we do the printed image the correct size. So basically, all you need to do is take a tape measure and ruler and just measure the size of the print that you want. So in this instance, it's four inches by 2.5. So I've taken my image on design space and I've put it in there. A bit glaring that, you can't see it very well, can you? And I've put some font on there, missing you at Christmas in a nice, nice bright text. Okay, so here you've got cut then print. The image is flattened and you just need to click make it. And there you'll have your image ready to print. So click continue and then send to printer. Okay. Really, really important point where it says add bleed here, you need to take that off because if you add, if you don't take the bleed off, this red writing here will just be a big red splodgy mess. Okay, so then we need to click print. Oops, and pop the tissue paper in on the card, and then that'll do its job. In the meantime, I'll bring the video back see what I'm doing again. Okay, so there we have your printed image on your card and tissue paper. We're not going to use the Cricut because if you put this into the Cricut maker or air it would rip the tissue to shreds. So we're just going to cut it out rid of all the black lines obviously okay and as you 
Spillach here. The printed image, which is ready to go onto your candle. So what we need for this now is a roll of wax paper. This is available in any supermarket. I think it was about £1.50 in Tesco or Sainsbury's. I can't know where I got it from, but it's wax paper. Okay. So I've cut a little bit out earlier, just for speed. We'll take our wax paper and a little bit of sellotape and stick it down. Okay. We need to make sure that it's really tight at the top and the bottom as well, as well as in the middle. This is to stop you getting ridges on your candle. Okay. Then what we need to do is carefully pop the image onto the candle. If you want to do, it makes it any easier. You can use a tiny, and I mean a tiny, blob of glue. Just to make sure that it's easily stuck down and you're not having to mess about there. Oh, sorry that. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, so there we go. Let's pop that on there. It's nice and straight. All the text is straight. Okay. Gosh, Kathy, come on. You can tell I'm not used to doing videos. Okay, there we go. Just need it a tiny bit. And then we need to pull the wax paper <coughs> over the top and pull it nice and tight <coughs> so that there's no ridges and no folds. Okay. And again, we need to secure it in the middle, the bottom, and also at the top. And if it isn't secured at the top, the wax paper can ridge and you can end up with dinging in the top of your candle. That's the reason for that. Okay, so there we go. It's ready to go. So what do we need next? Well, when I started doing these candles, I just used a hairdryer. But then I invested in one of these heat guns, which are super duper fast for doing candles. But hair dryers are just as good, so that's not a problem. We've got two settings, hot and hotter. I like to go for the hotter. Now, when you use the heat gun or the hair dryer, you need to make sure that you don't keep the heat source in one spot. Because what will happen on pillar candles is the surface of the wax will break and you will end up with an actual physical hole in it. And obviously that's not going to be very good. So you'll see when I'm melting it that the colours come to life on the candle. Um, I'll try not to talk while I'm doing the uh, air gun because you probably won't be able to hear me. Okay, so here goes. So you can see that the font is going quite red, dark red, as it adheres onto the wax. You can see it goes a lot darker as it's transferred onto the candle. leave that to cool down for a minute and uh, now one most important thing about candles is that you have to put the safety labels on the bottom this is really really important especially if you're selling them even if you're giving them away to friends and family you have to put one of these labels on the bottom of any candle um, I know it's pretty obvious that you don't leave an unintended candle burning but if something should happen they would come back to you or potentially come back to you and then you'd be in a lot of trouble so yeah we've got to put a warning label on the bottom of the candle so i always do that next so that i never forget okay so now it's cooled down and you just need to gently loosen the tape try not to stick your fingers into the candle as i've done so many times okay and 
of the sellotape and then just pull the candle back, the paper back and you'll see that the image is transferred onto the paper candle rather nicely I might add. Okay, so I'll we'll pop our safety label on the bottom. These are self-adhesive so they stick quite well. Like so. And then it's looking a bit plain. It's not looking very festive. So what I'm going to do now is just take a bit of ribbon. And if you do this by the candle kit, you'll have all these items in there. So you won't have to worry about getting a five metre roll of ribbon and 15 candles. You'll be able to just make your own, have a quick go at it. And it gives you the opportunity to see whether or not it's something that you'd like to do. But like I say, with the Advent ones and the Christmas candles so far, I only advertised them three or four weeks ago and I think I sold about 80. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a really good line if you sell your makes. Okay, so put a little bit of glue around the bottom and then we'll just put a little bit of ribbon around just to decorate it and make it look more fun and festive. Okay, and then let's cut a little bit of the excess away. And take a little bit of glue. This is just artist craft glue which is really good stuff put the blob there and just gently seal it okay okay and then i'm going to take a pretty little red ribbon which again is going to be in the kit and just another blob of glue nice pretty little red ribbon on just finishes the back off nicely okay still a little bit boring so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some crystals on there make it even more Christmassy again a few blobs of glue doesn't have to be a lot Bear in one second <laughs> it's a blocked up bit there there's a couple of blobs of glue the only thing that you can't put on pillar candles is glitter because it's highly flammable and it's not good for the environment really is it but there you have these candles make brilliant gifts they don't have to be just for christmas they can be for christenings anything really birthdays i'm going to stick some little gems on just to finish it off these are fab these pencils watch how this picks up gems Look at that. How cool is that? I think you can't see it. Sorry. There you go. Okay, and just pop a few gems on. And don't worry with the gems. What happens with these is as the candle burns down, they will soften and just drop off. So, not a problem. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got lots more things to share with you. So in the new year, I've got lots of ideas to keep our businesses going um, after the Christmas rush has gone. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and get to see lots more of my videos. Hints and tips on Quicker as well. So there we go. One finished pretty Christmas candle that you can make yourself at home. Hope you've enjoyed the video, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and be notified of all the videos that I do. I will be doing the candle kit box which will contain the candle and all the bits that you need to make it um, and I'll put them in the links as well. Okay stay safe everybody and see you all soon.